Undone love to do collaborations. They do tons of collaborations with artists, pop culture icons like Batman and Superman. However, the watches that I like from them the most are their art watches. Today we have one of those to show you. This is the Undone Kevin Lyons Customizable Chronograph. I'm gonna get right into it. It comes in an outer sleeve and that has all of the Kevin Lyons artwork on it. Kevin Lyons, if you are not familiar with him, he's done tons of collaborations with some major, some awesome brands, some of my favorite brands, Nike, Converse, Adidas, Vans. These are all things that I like. Um, and uh, obviously they use his artwork in their products. And that's their collaboration. So uh, no different for a watch. So we're gonna get right into it. It is uh, an, sort of an aluminum or I guess a tin uh, that the watch actually comes in. They put a lot of their watches in this, uh, so that's what's inside the uh, outer sleeve. And then inside you just get a warranty card, and of course, here is the watch. Now, I've actually worn this watch a few times, um, and this strap is very, very comfortable. So it's leather lined, but it's like a fabric strap, and you have this buckle on here, which kind of reminds me of an IWC buckle that matches the case. So the case itself is all uh, PVD coated in black, and then you have a white dial. I think all of them get a white dial. And basically what's customizable on these watches is the actual monster that you get to choose. So you get to choose the left side, and then you get to choose the right side. So all of them are chronographs. However, the dial changes depending on the actual monster that you choose. Uh, so you could choose any monster and then a and any saying. And I think there's like 36 combinations that you can have uh, to get uh, your dial the way that you want it. So this one says good times. And then I chose this monster. There's a few different, there's like New York times and always on time, things like that. So there's just little sayings that you could put uh, on the right side and, and then the monster that you could choose on your left side. Now, some of those monsters are the ones that you see right here. You can see this is the one that I chose, but there are a bunch of others that you can choose. Um, and it's really easy to do. So basically the first step is choose your monster. Second step, the saying. That's it. You have a bi-compax layout. It is very, very sort of uh, under the radar here with the chronograph, so it's not very evident that this is a chronograph right off the bat. You do have black hands, and you do have um, actual uh, loom in the hand, so we'll do a loom shot at the end. I don't know if the dial is loom. They have to check that at the end as well. And then the bezel, the case, the crown, the pushers, and of course the buckle, the case back, which also has undone and the teeth of the monster is actually where it says undone, and then the uh, signature Kevin Lyons right there. Uh, and that's really at a very simple case back. Uh, it's sort of just engraved, and then I guess filled with white because it looks like um, it is, uh, actually it's probably just engraved and, and directly into the stainless steel, so there you go. Um, I believe this gets like 30 meters of water resistance. It is a uh, Seiko Mecha Quartz, so it's a VK61. Um, and it's just a cool watch. These come in at around $349. Seems like a lot of money for a Mecha Quartz chronograph, but considering that it's DLC plated, or PVD plated, excuse me, uh, and then you have the tie-in with Kevin Lyons and the customizable fact to this that you can actually customize it uh, to exactly the way you want it to be. Uh, I think this is actually a pretty good price, and the strap is actually very nice on this strap, on this watch. I've been impressed with the straps that come on um, undone for a little while. They do a very good job. These are beautiful straps um, and I really do like them. Uh, so very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. We'll also do some measurements. Quickly, actually, let's do some measurements uh, because I think this is like a 40, I think it was a 41 millimeter watch. Yeah, so it's 41 millimeters. This is a, a, a case that they use in a lot of different uh, watches. So 40, it's basically 41, almost 41 and a half. And the lug to lug on here is and the lugs are not long, I would call them, so 47 millimeters, and then the thickness is, and you have a domed K1 mineral crystal on here, so not a sapphire. I kind of wish they would put a uh, acrylic crystal instead of a K1, 12.5 uh, millimeters thick, but it is domed and boxed, so you could see that right there. Um, I always say that, though. I really would prefer an acrylic crystal over a K1 mineral crystal, um, that is just me. I think a lot of people don't understand the reason why they would want that, and I think uh, it definitely makes sense. 6.6 .6 millimeters on the crown is what I'm measuring, um, and there you go. Uh, so very quickly, oh, and the lug span on here I think is 20, I, I just want to check that really quickly because 
It's a really nice strap, but I don't think I would ever change it. Uh, 19.8, so 20 millimeters essentially. Um, very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist and uh, we will do a quick loom shot as well. Uh, but today I am wearing a new addition to my collection. This is Pollen with N Ordain and they uh, are a husband and wife team. So essentially not a team. Uh, it's a collaboration between Pollen, who are a Scottish brand, and N Ordain, who are also a Scottish brand. Uh, but the owner of Pollen uh, is the uh, wife and the owner of uh, and Ordain is the husband. So they are husband and wife and they collaborated. They're two different brands on this watch and it's actually a pretty awesome watch. Uh, this one was one that is exclusive to the Museum of Modern Art um, and uh, that's where I, I purchased this. So pretty cool. Um, talking about cool watches. So they make it a limited edition version of this as well. So this is not a limited edition. So uh, they've been doing that also. So they'll make a limited and non-limited edition. I like that. Uh, because, I mean, if you like the watch and you want to get it, uh, but you don't want to spend the extra money or whatever it might be, they, they have a limited edition that is a little bit more special, and then they have a standard edition. Uh, I like that. It makes sense to me. Uh, there you go. On my 7.5 inch wrist, I think it fits very nicely. It's a very good looking watch. I really like these art pieces. I think they're very interesting. Um, if you're into art, now, obviously, if you're not, this is not going to really make a lot of sense to you. Um, and I definitely understand that. So uh, either you love it or you hate it. It's not an incredibly expensive watch at $349, considering the tie-in and what they have to actually pay to do that. Um, and then the materials that they're using and everything is really uh, very, very nice. Everything except for that K1 mineral crystal, as I mentioned, which is kind of, you know, I'm always on the fence about and I prefer... Uh, acrylic or sapphire that's how i am in the middle i am not <laughs> that's basically it uh so very quickly let's do a loom shot let's see if there's loom on here i think there is um i don't know what the loom is like uh maybe they did something a little special i have no idea so let's check it out uh, all right well i think a missed opportunity here they could have maybe loomed a little uh monster or some of the splotches of paint that are on the on the dial itself i think that would have made sense it would look really cool um, I would have really liked that. Unfortunately, they didn't do that. Um, however, the hands are loomed, decently loomed, uh, nothing too crazy. I think it's a little bit of a missed opportunity. I wish they did that. Um, otherwise, all in all, a really cool watch. Uh, again, I'm a fan of Kevin Lyons. Uh, I, I think that a lot of his collaborations, specifically with Vans and Nike, I've been a big fan of, um, and I've actually purchased in the past, so uh, that's why I find this pretty interesting myself. Uh, but again, you have to be a fan of Kevin Lyons. If you are not, you definitely will not like this watch. Uh, it won't make much sense. Uh, you'll just think it's like a little bit of a cartoon watch, which it kind of looks like, right? Um, but it is definitely something uh, for a fan of Kevin Lyons. And uh, it is a very well-made watch and I do like it very much. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.